Clark Moores Middle School would like to present tonight the Accelerated Art Group. The group meets on Thursdays after school. Three students are here tonight to talk about the group. Meredith Meeker, Blake Brockman, and Brennan Schuler. They will be presenting work that they've created after school and during class. The after school group creates projects based on each student's individual interests. Students must, must research a project based on an area of their own interest. The project must be approved by the teacher. The teacher then provides facilitation of the project as well as one-on-one -on -one instruction. Students are allowed to choose their area of visual art focus as well. These students will explain the process they've used to complete their artwork and present samples. Good evening. My name is Kim Crawford and I'm pleased night, tonight to introduce some of my students. Um, we have started, a few years ago, I started the Accelerated Art Program, and it was because I was trying to figure out a way to extend my lessons for uh, GT students and for those who show interest in art um, outside of class, and to give them an opportunity to try new things that maybe the curriculum didn't allow us to do during the school day and our just our time allotment with the students because I only get my students for nine weeks out of the year. So um, we started this last year and it was a rather small group and then this year we had 20 students that I took for the class. That was the most I've ever taken before because what I do is meet with them individually and then make a plan for them for what they're going to work on. And some students work on one project the whole year depending on how large it is and how much time that it takes. And some will work on up to two to three a year. But the projects that they, they end up with are projects that they like, that they'll keep, that we've won awards with. We have some award-winning projects here. And most of all, it allows them some student choice and ability to differentiate their uh, content and specialize in an area that they're interested in. So later on, they'll be um, more self-sufficient as an artist when they leave school. Um, the new core content for art is going to try to focus a lot more on student choice. And so we're trying to find ways to actually get our students prepared for that, uh, plan a foundation for them through the regular class, and then allow them to extend it after school. So this evening I'm very proud, uh, proud to introduce um, Meredith, Brennan, and Blake. And they're going to come up a couple students at a time and share with you some of the things they've been able to create there. And on the screen, you'll see some projects that we had from our after-school class that um, have turned out well and were chosen by the students. We have all mediums, uh, sculpture, photography, uh, mixed media, painting, drawing, <laughs> anything that they're interested in. And the students research those projects on their own. I'll suggest the artists that might be similar in the interest, and then they'll research that artist and plan a project which I'll help them plan and make a supply list and then they work on them after school from 3 to 4 30 each week. Um, here are some from this year, um, some of our students. You can see a couple students at the top drawing. The one on the right is a painting with uh, wax melted over it. Just some different techniques to try. They learn how to do things, um, what works and what doesn't, um, what it takes to be um, an artist without me being there um, so they can do it at home and it's really just been a great program we have students on a waiting list believe it or not I can't facilitate all the students who want to be there um, in the way that I would like to so I only take between 15 and 20 and that's hard you know and we try they come not all of them attend every week but we try to cover as much as we can um, this slide is to introduce Miss Meredith Meeker, and she's going to come forward and share with you some of her artwork. So, Meredith. Hi. Um, boys are going to be banging the floor. They're going to hold her artwork up while she talks. It's upside down. Her lovely assistant. Hold on a second. Mm. Yeah. Um, okay, my uh, painting is glass jars with Christmas lights in them, and um, my objective to uh, create this, I wanted to try to learn how to do a still life, 
So what I um, started out by doing is I looked up uh, Janet Fish, Miss Prophet helped me with that, and she creates still lifes containing like glass, you know, jars and vases and stuff. So um, I decided I wanted to use Christmas lights to try to like get the different um, like lights reflecting. And so um, I start out by uh, photographing it at my house, and um, I brought it to school. And then I started out um, painting it, and I painted three jars um, to create, like, balance in the painting. And then um, I started out by blocking out all of the white in the painting, and then I added um, the tints and shades of, like, the cords and the lights. And then to um, make it look like there are, um, you know, it's in a glass jar, I added streaks of white to each light and where it was reflecting the most to, so you know you can see that it's the light so, and then um, I'm working on right now um, uh, another still life and it's actually set up at, set up at school right now and it's not finished yet obviously but I'm working on it as of right now so, thank you Meredith why don't you show us Meredith is also a, um, quite uh, good at photography, and if you will look at the screen, the jar painting uh, is at the top. Her, photog her photograph of the jars, one of them is in the center, and the two photographs are at the bottom. She did also, and she's brought those with her today to share with you. She's focusing on painting, drawing, and photography right now, so she brought those with her today to share also. So thank you, Meredith. <laughs> Right. Next, we have Blake Brockman. Um, <coughs> hello, I'm Blake Brockman. I'm a seventh grader at Clark Moore. <coughs> this is my second year in the Accelerated Art Program. I brought these two paintings uh, to share with you. Um, I really like modern art, and so that's why I am like that. Last year, I created this <coughs> replica of Edward and Mon Munch's famous painting, Scream. My objective for this piece was to was to manipulate, learn how to manipulate different materials. Because I like modern art, I wanted to take a famous painting and uh, I wanted to take a famous painting and modernize it. Uh, I knew I wanted to do something three dimensional, so I researched cardboard sculptures. My version, which you see here, well, this. <laughs> um, um, has bright neon colors and you can still recognize the original painting after, that it was modeled after. First, I had to study the original painting and took large cardboard uh, pieces and cut them out into shapes I saw in the painting. I chose my colors and painted the individual pieces before I layered them. At the end, I decided uh, for some materials and textures so it cut out to put on it. This year, my objective was to create a piece of modern art that I used both color and dimension. I used a variety of materials so I could create a poor paint sculpture from different sized canvases and acrylic paint, which is right there. I found a similar project online that had an entire class created. I wanted to give it a try. After uh, I decided on a shape and stacked the canvases on top of one another. Next, I use a strong epoxy glue to hold the weight up canvases in place. <clears throat> one by one, I poured the sculptures and allowed them to drip off the edge. To finish the project, I mixed a deep purple, almost black, uh, and painted the edges of the canvas. I really like this accelerated art program because I get to control my project, and I do the research, and Ms. Prophet gives me tips on gu and guidance. In the end, I feel like the project is all mine, and I'm proud of my work. On the screen, you can see his uh, painting a little bit better. Um, Blake's poured paint sculpture is on the right, uh, and then his version of Edward Monk is in the middle. And then we put the original painting at the bottom so you could see it, um, so you could see how he changed it. 
And next we have Brandon Schuler, who's going to talk about some ceramics that we did. Hello. Uh, I have my project. You know, uh, I made the Sphinx out of clay. For our objective in class, we learned about Egyptian art and culture, and we learned how to use the slab method in clay. Also, uh, you know, we learned how to make Egyptian amulets to create an assemblage. And we also learned about contemporary uh, sculptor Leigh uh, Mickelson, who creates uh, clay assemblages. An assemblage is a freestanding sculpture placed on an armature for display, and an amulet is a small object that a person wears or carries because he or she believes it offers magical powers. To make my project, you know, the Sphinx, I used uh, a rolling pin to create slabs of clay, and then I balled up some newspaper. I laid out the slabs of clay and proceeded to form the clay slabs around the newspaper. I then started to make the shape of the body by applying gentle pressure to the clay. To make the head, I rolled up a ball of clay and started making the head shape and facial features. I then made an Egyptian headdress and attached it to the head. To make the paws, I rolled up thick pieces of clay and created three small cuts at the end of the clay and attached it to the sphinx. Finally, I glazed it all uh, with a sandy-colored glaze. Thank you. Thank you. We just want to share a little bit about our accelerated art, and we expect it to continue to do well. So thank you for letting us come. Thank you. Wonderful job.